So the arbor is seven feet, two inches wide, two feet, two inches deep. So this is what we have here. We've got the footprint of the arbor. Now, I plan on putting the arbor in front of the fence. The bench will go under the arbor. Bench is roughly six feet, about four and a half inches wide. So that'll fit perfectly under the arbor. And as far as the pavers, which are these right here, it's a nice material. Oh yeah, I like that. This looks really nice with the aqua blue of the bench. Nice color contrast. I like the veining detail in it. I'm not sure if this is Pennsylvania bluestone or, or what exactly it is. Someone out there might be able to um, advise me as to what type of material this is. Might be slate, not sure. Oh yeah, this will look really nice. Oh yeah. All right guys, so it's a whole other day and I'm gonna pick up where I left off at which is relocating some of these shrubs to make room for the arbor and the bench. All right. One, two, three. guys now I know it's the middle of the day actually it's around 3 o'clock but the Sun is it's at its highest intensity between 12 and 2 and 3 o'clock so it's very bright right now so just bear with me as I'm recording this all right Show you these roses these climbing roses do not laugh this right here is a new dawn modern climber rose it has a blush pink deep pink kind of apricot pink if I remember correctly um, those are the bloom colors 
Here's the growth. So I had this in the carport for over a year and it looks really, really sad. What I may do, let's look at the graph union here. It still has substantial green on it. So I'll go ahead and cut back to right here. All right. Get this dead piece off. Keep that green, that long green growth and train that up the arbor. Give it a fertilization and hope for the best. So this area receives a lot more evening sun. And I believe the new dawn rose can take that type of sun. Go up this arbor. Gets to be about 12 to 15 feet tall. And it will join this Zephyrin Druin rose right here. I showed you guys in the last video. It looks like this cane right here may need to come off as well. It's been in this pot for God knows how long. I mean, probably even at the nursery, it's been in that pot. I got it at a deep discount. So um, we're, we're just gonna have to see how they do. Some plants you never know, they have a second lease on life. It's got a nice long cane right here. Um, let's hope it hardens before the winter. We've got about two more months of um, mild temperatures until our first frost on November 1st. like this one might be on its way out. Yep, it's dying. As you can see, this right here is dead. So, I have to make that big decision of taking the entire stem off, the entire cane. Because all this is doing is sucking the life out of the plant nutrients are going to this cane trying to revive it and that's a waste of energy so I have to make that call so it has one main cane really gonna have to do a Hail Mary for it and uh, hope it makes it <laughs> 